Hi guys! I've got a super quick page in my pocket page notebook here today with the August Citrus Twist kits. I've got the um, Pocket Life and the Scrapbook kit here today. And I've got this photo of this really beautiful sunrise that I was unfortunately up early enough to take a photo of. Um, and I really, the colours were so beautiful and they went so perfectly with this um, crepe paper fringe that I really wanted to use that. So I'm just looking through the papers. First I looked through the papers in the scrapbook kit um, and then I decided that the patterns are probably a more appropriate scale in the 6x8 pad in the pocket page kit. So I just was going through those to pick out one that um, went with the colours in my photo and with the colours in the fringe and I've come up with this tearly I don't know, it kind of reminded me of clouds, which was why I picked it. I thought it was um, quite appropriate to the photo. So I'm just going to trim that out and stick that down into my pocket page notebook. Now you might notice that this spread in my pocket page notebook doesn't have a pocket page. Um, sometimes to save bulk in these notebooks I do take out a few pages and um, I don't always need to have the pocket page as one of the pages in my notebook so um, often I take out um, the pocket page piece so that of course means that this spread um, doesn't have the pocket page and neither will the one opposite it in the notebook. And there was a little piece of glassine paper in the scrapbook kit and I've just backed my photo with it. It's kind of hard to see on camera but in real life it just gives the border of the photo a sort of glossy kind of shimmery effect and I really liked it. It was a little bit flat though so I just used my nails, um, my fingers just to sort of roll the edge up a bit, um, give it a little bit of texture and just make it sparkle a little bit. You can kind of see it there. Now these fringe pieces, they're on um, relatively thin foam tape, it's still probably thicker than I would like it to be, but I'm very near the end of this pocket page notebook so I'm not too worried about how um, fat it's getting. I'm going to start at the top, well you'll see I work all the way down the page eventually, but I'm just adding the lightest pink piece at the top there and just trimming it off. And I'm going to use the order that they come in in the packet. So then I'm going to add the light blue piece at the bottom and this time instead of trimming it off the page I trimmed it first because the, the edges of the fringed pieces are sort of flatter, the tape doesn't go all the way to the edge so I'm going to use that to my advantage um, and use those flatter pieces to overlap. Um, so this is where it gets a tiny bit tricky. I've overlapped the darker blue onto the lighter blue and now I'm adding in this darker pink piece um, and it just needs a tiny bit of trimming but that needs to go under the light pink piece at the top. So it did take a little bit of finagling and then I do use a little bit of tape runner under those loose um, edges just to stick them down a little bit and it means I've got a few little pieces of fringe left over for something else later on. Now in the scrapbook kit was this die cut ephemera pack and I knew it had this hay sunshine piece in it which I thought um, was appropriate to the photo um, and then uh, there was only this one tiny little label in the pack and I probably wouldn't have normally picked it because it was red and red didn't really have a lot to do with the page but the hay sunshine has that little bit of red in it so the label then works nicely. Now this stamp from the scrapbook it uh, had this phrase that says um, this is how we roll I think it says but what I don't want is the roll piece so I just carefully inked it up so it says this is how we and then I'm going to fill in the rest with some alphas um, the scrapbook kit doesn't have any alphas this month so I grabbed my pocket life kit alphas which are bright yellow not necessarily again a color I would have picked for this page but I'm rolling with it because I think in the end it gives it a really beautiful pop of colour. Stops the page being too sort of sickly sweetly colour coordinated I guess. Now those little enamel dots I'm going to use those as well because they've got that same beautiful bright yellow in it and this is how I'm going to tie the yellow into the whole page. I'm going to add some of these yellow dots. 
So I've added some um, one yellow one on the right hand page and then I'll just go about matching the colors. I'm gonna add some by my title, some on this little card up here and a couple down by my label as well. The other enamel dots don't match perfectly but I think that's what this whole page is about. It's not, nothing's gonna match perfectly but they do, the colors do all still go together. So I've added two enamel dots in each little spot and then I did wonder about stamping a phrase on that label but I decided instead just to handwrite a little bit of um, journaling. Not a super fan of my own handwriting, you know I normally prefer to type my journaling but this label was so small and already stuck down I just went with it. And call my page finished, I told you it was quick. The kits this month are gorgeous as usual and you can see here how nicely the pocket life and the scrapbook kit coordinate together so I'll leave the link for those down below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye!